everybody. Today, uh, it's a little rainy day outside. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of wiring work in the house. Uh, my wife isn't home, kids aren't home. I'm home alone. So you know what that means. It's time for car parts on the kitchen table. Uh, I don't think my wife watches, so hopefully she doesn't catch this. But if you do, uh, honey, I love you. Please don't divorce me. Okay, so here's my uh, stock. 96, 97 LT1 harness that I'm going to be putting in the car. And these are these four here are the uh, connectors for your factory computer. Now we're going to be switching to this computer, which is it's called a 411 PCM. The reason they call it that is because of the part number that ends in 411. Uh, these, these these can run a lot of different engines, a lot of different styles. Uh, this one came out of a van, but you can change anything on it. We're going to actually run a few things that would come stock on a Camaro that the van didn't have. Uh, Corvettes use them. They're a nice uh, ECM. We're going to be tuning it with HP tuners, which is the main reason why I'm switching to it is because HP tuners are so nice to use. Like I said, this one come out of a van. So the van, uh, it has a couple things that are different than my fortune uh trans am like uh the the ac system is different and uh the van uses a mechanical fan whereas i'm gonna use electric fan so all i have to do is uh basically put the wires in the same spot they would be if this computer was in a uh a ls1 fourth gen so I'm gonna use basically all the stock. You know, my motor's pretty much set up like a 350 Vortec. So all the engine stuff is gonna be, you know, where it was in the van. But then I'm gonna add the uh, the AC and the uh, Camaro style and the, uh, the cooling fans. And I'll have to change the tune and the computer so it works those properly. Um, also, the Corvettes have a drive-by-wire throttle body instead of a cable. But something else that this computer can handle, I'm not going to be using that. But you know, you can you can do different things with this computer. That's why a lot of people like them. Yeah, so I'm going to be using all the same wiring. All the wiring that was on my LT1 is going to go to the computer just like it did the factory. The only difference is they used to have this style connector, and these are the connectors for the 411. Okay, so all we're doing is taking the wiring out of these plastic connectors and putting them in here but we gotta put them in the right spot. So how do we do that? There's lots of good information on the internet. Uh, you can get wiring diagrams, ECM pinouts from a lot of websites. Um, whenever I'm doing electrical on cars, you know, like the 411 computer, it's pretty popular, so it probably wouldn't be hard to find, but most of the time, you know, when I'm doing anything electrical with cars, uh, I like to go to alldatadiy.com you gotta pay like 15 or 20 bucks, but uh, they have really good accurate information. And uh, you know, I, sometimes if I try to look it up outside of that website, I'm sure there's other websites too you can pay for to have good information. But like, if you just go to some of the forums and stuff, sometimes I can find like conflicting information and stuff. And like I said, the 411 is pretty popular, so I'm sure that wouldn't be hard to find. But I just go through this, so. Okay, so let's go to the truck, right? So I have a few different vehicles on here, but uh, right here, 2002 Savannah, that's what this computer come out of. So uh, we just go down, oh, I'm sorry, not down, it's right here, diagrams. So you click on diagrams, uh, electrical diagrams. Actually, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. One of the first things I like to do is I go to connector views and then engine control mods right here. Sorry. So there's two connectors on the, the 411 computer. There's C1 and C2. So you click on that and it gives you the full list whoop, of uh, what every wire is, the wire color here. Uh, what pin it's in and what it's used for. Okay, 
So I like to take this and print this out. Okay, and then I also go through to electrical diagrams. And then this one is powertrain management. Okay, so do I'm gonna do all our system diagram. Sends me to here. So then it has everything here, right? It's got like fuel injectors. So this is, you know, all the fuel injectors. I just like to have this stuff. Um, sometimes on the uh, on the connector view, uh, some of like it's mostly pretty good, but there's probably maybe like five uh, five ones that have like a pretty vague description. It'll just say like ground or something, but it's actually a ground like four sensor. So uh, I kind of like to have the wiring diagrams so I can see that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and print all these out. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go to 97 Camaro I have on here. I'm gonna do the same thing with it. So diagrams, connector views, and uh, ECM, engine control module. And then this one has four connectors. So you click on it, it shows you, you know, what number, uh, you know, where the n number pins are on the connector. This is connector one, it's the red connector, because they're colored. And then, you know, it tells you what everything is here. And what you're gonna find is, uh, what I do is I print out, like the one I'm going to, the 411, I print that out. And then I just start with this here. I'll start with this, I'll find it on the 411, and I'll just put, you know, connector one, pin one, goes to wherever it is on the new computer. And what you're gonna find is, almost all the time with what I'm doing right now, is the wire colors are the same, like it's it's pretty easy. I know it sounds like a lot, but we'll get into it here in a second and you'll see it's not that bad. If you hear noises in the background, we have a new puppy. And she is not getting attention right now. So she's gonna make a bunch of racket. She got a butter knife from somewhere. Not even sure where that came from. But she is the cutest little thing. So it's kind of hard to get mad at her sometimes. Come here. Come say hi. <laughs> so this is, this is Lily. She is 11 weeks old. And uh, she is, her daddy was a Doberman Pinscher. Her mommy was a German Shepherd Wolf Mix. So she's gonna be a big girl. But she's back here making a bunch of racket in the background, ain't you? So I apologize for that, but in case you're wondering where it's coming from, it's from her. Okay, so I got this all printed out. So the first thing I'm gonna do, since this is a uh, going into a fourth gen Camaro, I'm going to change the, uh, the cooling fan and the AC, because they're a different style than what the van has, and what the van has isn't gonna work for what I'm doing. So all I gotta do is switch the wiring and uh, and change the tune in the computer. So I have here, this is uh, the LS1 diagram for for the air conditioning. Uh, this here is your PCM. So if you look here, uh, it looks like you got a clutch relay. It says right here, connector two on pin 18, there's a dark green wire. On pin 43, there's a dark green and white wire, okay? So we'll start out with those two on top of this little diagram. So uh, 18 and 43 on connector two. So here is the list of all the things in the connector. This is uh, connector one, part one. These are kind of long, so each connector has two pages. So let's get to connector two. I already wrote this stuff in here, but number 18, okay, this, this is a van uh, I printed this off from a van. A van doesn't use connector eight or a pin 18 on connector two. So I added that in there. I put dark green 
AC clutch supply voltage. Because if you look here, this is a uh, this is a relay. Um, this is the voltage coming from. It says hot and run or start. So when you turn the key on and to run or start, it sends power from your ignition switch to this relay. It goes through the switch, and uh, the computer wants to see that voltage, and that's what actually goes to your to your clutch on your AC compressor. And then it also has this is the wire that turns on the relay. So your your computer grounds when uh, when the relay is connected. So some of the stuff, I mean, I know how it all works. You may be like, wow, this is way over my head, but actually you don't need to know any of this <laughs> because I'm gonna tell you what wire goes where. But uh, it's good, yeah. So I'm doing, I'm doing something kind of weird I'm doing a rear distributor and an LT1, which most people don't do. Most people using a 411 computer and an LT1, they're going to go to, uh, actually I can just go ahead and show it to you. Okay, so most of you guys that are putting a 411 computer on an LT1, uh, you're not gonna be doing what I'm doing because uh, there's no bolt-on parts to put a distributor in the back of an LT1, unless you're on a carburetor, but, uh, so most people do this, they go to uh, EFI Connection, which I thought I had on here. Yeah. Okay, EFI Connection, uh, you can buy the kits. Uh, it's kind of similar to what I'm doing except for having a 4X on the crank. It's got 24X, which just means there's 24 teeth on that reluctor instead of four. And uh, with that system, you're basically, uh, you're gonna run the motor like it's an LS1, and you have to get the, uh, the coil packs on the valve covers for each cylinder. Each cylinder gets its own ignition coil. And uh, that's what most people do with that. I already had a redistributor in my LT1, which is uncommon. And I was running a tune port computer because it was most similar to my 93 computer. But now I'm upgrading to the newer stuff but still using the 4X and the Vortec. The 4X is for a distributor, like a Vortec. 24X is cool on plug. It's gonna be very similar. Uh, your ignition cools, obviously, that wiring's gonna be different, but most of it's gonna be similar. But because I'm using uh, basically a Vortec motor uh, setup, which comes in trucks and vans, I have to kind of like mix and match my wiring. I have to do some stuff from a Camaro uh, Firebird and then some stuff from the van. Most of the stuff from the van. Okay, so the finish is air conditioning. We got a dark green and white wire. Connector two, pin 17. A red and black. Connector two, pin 14. A gray. Connector one, pin 45. And a purple on connector two, pin 57. And that's all the uh, AC connections that the computer's going to need. So I went through and added all those on here. A couple of them was is uh, similar to the van, but I had to add most of them. Now I'll come over here to the uh, fans. All you have is you have uh, on connector one, pin 42, uh, you have a wire there that controls your first fan relay. It grounds and that, that turns on the relay for the fan. Then over here, you have cooling fan relay two and three. So that's it with the fans. I added those to my little list here. Okay, so now that I've added the wires we're gonna be using for the fans and the air conditioning, I have a complete list of everything that's going to be going to this computer. So now we just have to know where it's coming from. Okay, so now we need to get out our, uh, our list from the LT1. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start right here. This is the LT1. Connector one, red. So pin number one is a yellow wire, crank sat, crankshaft position sensor signal. Okay, so let's look on here. So I only have you know, four pages, two pages for each connector. So I look through and what do I find? Yellow. And look at this, circuit number. 
573. Guess what? It's even the same circuit number, 573. Okay, so, so this is uh, connector 1, pin 12. So once I have all these right down, we're just going to go take the pin out of this connector and pop it into this spot. So I'm going to write this down. Connector 1, pin 1. I'll put it right here. This is going to be my little cheat sheet of where all the wires go. So connector 1, pin 1. So let me go to the next one. Uh, PCM ground. Okay. Circuit 451. Look at here. The first thing I... I look at on the thing I'm already looking at so black and white same as the LT1 451 even the same circuit number ground so that is connector 1 pin 2 okay next one it's black wire it's for the number one injector for the number one cylinder okay let's look on here right here same thing, 1744. It's got even the same circuit number and everything. Color, circuit number, injector, fuel injector, one control. Okay? So that is C1 pin 3. Okay? So I'm not going to sit here and, and go through all like 200 of these pins because that would be like the world's worst video. But it's it's easy guys if you if you have the information it's easy to sit down and just draw where it came from and where is it going so i'm going to sit here and do this if i find anything that seems kind of weird or you might have a question about i'll go ahead and show that part of it but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this filled out and then once this is filled out all i gotta do is switch some wires around and we'll have a running car with uh, the newer computer we can use hp tenders It'll have all the nice modern things and it'll be nice. So let me get to work here and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so then we got tan and white. It's a PCM ground. Now I looked through my uh, new computer and I don't see any PCM grounds that are tan and white. So what I want to do is uh, get on the wiring diagram and see how it's wired so I can make sure that uh, it's the same. So I got both the diagrams here. Your LT1, you can see you have two battery positives, so that's connected straight to the battery hot all the time. You have two ignition positives, that comes on when you turn on the ignition. And then you have one, two, three, four grounds, okay? That's, that's just the power of the computer. That's not sensors and stuff. The sensors are mostly like super easy because a lot of them use the same wirings and everything. Colors, I mean, but uh, this is a new computer, so it's got two positive voltages, the same, only one ignition voltage. Okay, so I'll probably take those two and just put them together and connect it to this one. And then one, two, three, four grounds, just the same. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take, and these are all different. Uh, the colors are the same with the exception of, yeah, the LT1 has uh, two tan and whites for a ground. Whereas the LS1 style computer is all black and white on all the grounds. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the old one. So you can see this little dotted line here. That means they're all part of the C2 that's over here. So C2 connector 15. I'm just going to go with the first one on here, which is C120. So I'm just going to write that on here. Just gonna jot everything down and then I'll put it onto my little cheat sheet. So C215 and C231 are our two uh, battery voltages. And those will be going to C120, C120, and C157 on the new computer. Our ignition, we have C230 and C50. 
4, 3, C4, 3, it's going to be going to C119. C119. Now we got our four grounds. So C3, uh, 32. Looks like C12, C118, and uh, C41. Those are the four grounds. And they will be moving to this. So write these down C11, C140. C21, C240. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write all these down on my little cheat sheet for my new computer. I'm gonna go in my old one and cross all these off because they already have a home now. So let me do that and then I'm gonna keep going with the sensors and uh, I'll show you guys anything else I run into. Okay, so I'm on the connector two on the uh, the LT1 connector, and I come to the uh, distributor, which is the one thing that is different. So your OptiSpark has a low resolution signal, a high resolution signal, positive voltage, and a low reference. Uh, the the Vortec distributor does not have a high resolution, so this wire won't be used. And then uh, the rest of them will be fine. Uh, low resolution signal. I'm going to take that to what they just call the the cam sensor signal. And then there's still a positive and a low reference. So that's how I'm going to do the uh, distributor. And then uh, where the connector for the OptiSpark goes, I'll have to modify that to go to the Vortec distributor. Okay, so I got my little cheat sheet here done wasn't too bad i had to get rid of a lot of stuff there's a whole bunch of automatic transmission things on here uh there's a uh, fuel gauge for your fuel sender my car it does that independently of the computer so i'm not gonna hook that up to the new computer um some egr stuff i'm not gonna be using Let's see what else there is on here the uh, the EVAP and the uh, air injection system or your smog pump. I'm not going to be using that. The uh, this computer uh, ran the alternator on the vehicle that it was originally on. My alternator runs independently of the computer, so all the alternator things I don't need. That's about it. There was a couple uh, a couple spots where like uh, my, my LT1 harness will have a few different sensors and it'll, uh, like it's usually the, on the ground side, it'll connect like a few of the grounds into one wire for the computer. And on the new computer, it has uh, like independent wires. So like here, uh, you know, the new computer when it was on the van, it had one wire going to one sensor and one wire to another sensor. On my harness, they're all on one wire. So I have, I'm going to splice these two from the computer together into that one, and then again here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got a Facebook page, facebook.com/horsepowertube. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll scan these these papers. If you are interested in actually seeing what goes where, I'll uh, I'll scan what I made here and paste them online so you can see them. Oh, just some car stuff. You didn't have any car parts on the table, did you? Do you see any car parts on the table? 